guys, welcome back to Science and Technology channel. We are the group four from BSE 2B. I'm Andrew Gillan Dasalia along with my group mates Mylene Castaneda and Godwin Castillo. In this video, we are going to talk about the Black Death and uh, one of the deadliest pandemic to exist in our history. So Black Death of the Middle Ages. So today we are going to talk about first, what is the Black Death? Second, how did medieval people think it spread? Third, how did the disease really spread? And fourth, how did people try to prevent the spread of the disease? So what is the Black Death? The Black Death is also known as the plague. In the 14th century, it spread rapidly across the Europe causing a massive reduction in the population. So people who caught the disease had swellings on their bodies, sometimes as big as eggs. Then the black spots would appear, which gave the disease its name. So as I've said earlier, this Black Death was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. It was first struck Europe in the mid 14th century, 1347 to 15, killing about a third of Europe's population. An estimated 34 million people died. So it probably killed 30 to 50 percent of the population of England. yung winash out ng buhay. So medieval people called the catastrophe of the 14th century either the Great Pestilence or the Great Plague. So writers contemporary to the plague referred to the event as the Great Mortality. Swedish and Danish chronicles of the 16th century described the events as black for the first time. Because of the striking symptom of the disease in which sufferers' skin would blacken due to hemorrhages under the skin, it was called the Black Death. A medieval description of the plague. Emergence of certain tumors in the groin or armpits some of which grew as large as a common apple. Black spots appeared on the arm or the thigh, so... The black death is believed to have been the result of plague, an infectious fever caused by the bacterial Yersinia pestis. It comes in three forms. First, pneumonic plague or lung disease plague. It is the most violent and advanced stage form of plague that moves into the lungs. Next, bubonic plague. It is the most common form of the disease. The skin source becomes black leading to its nickname during pandemics as black death. If untreated, bubonic and pneumonic plague can progress to septicemic plague, infecting the bloodstreams. If left untreated, pneumonic and septicemic plague kills almost 100% of those it infects. Fortunately, your senior pestis can be killed and people with this kind of disease can be cured now. Historians have speculated that the fleas and rats are responsible for the plague. However, the study published on Monday in the journal PNAS instead points the finger at human parasites such as fleas and body lice. And what you see on the screen is the spread of the bubonic plague in Europe. Between 1347 and 1353, the black that killed 30 to 60 percent of Europe population. Whether the Mongols intended to spread the disease and whether the story is even true is not clear. What is clear is that some residents of Kappa were infected with the plague. The plague continued to travel through Asia, eventually hitting major cities. What do people believe caused the plague? Sent by God to punish them for their sins, the movement of planets, being close to infected people, or because of bad smells. How did the disease really spread? Well, there are two types of plague. First is bubonic plague, which was the more and was carried in the bloodstream of rats. This beat the rats and became infected. They then hooked onto other rats or humans, beat them and pass on the disease. Second is the pneumonic plague, which was the less common but more deadly. It was caught by breathing the germs released when an infected person coughed or sneezed. Now, how did people try to prevent the disease called plague? It was thought that by bleeding people, they could get rid of the bad blood which caused the plague. Kajilans, the people who believe what they 
quit and hurt themselves, God would take pity on them. And lastly, the toad should be placed on the plug boil. The toad will swell and draw all, all out the poison of the plug to its own body. Alam ko dito familiar kayo and minsan tingin natin um, creepers or what is a plague doctor. So a plague doctor was a physician who treated the victims of the bubonic plague. So, so the plague doctor costume consisted of an ankle length overcoat, a bird like big mask filled with sweet or strong smelling substances along with gloves and boots. The purpose of the mask was to remove bad smells thought to be the principal cause of the disease. So, nabanggit kanina na isa sa mga pinaniwalaan ng mga tao noon na nagkakos ng disease ay yung bad smell. So, that is the reason why um, ganun yung mask nila before. So, doctors believe the herbs would counter the evil smells of the plague and prevent them from becoming infected. Paano nag-stop or paano natapos yung plague noon or yung pandemic na yun? So the plague never really ended and it returned with the vengeance years later. But officials in the Venetian controlled port city of Ragusa were able to slow its spread by keeping arriving sailors in isolation until it was clear they were not carrying the disease creating social distancing that relied on isolation to slow the spread of the disease. So, sounds familiar ba? Isolation? Social distancing? Diba? Di lahat yan. Ginagawa natin ngayon global pandemic. So, ganyan din yung nangyari noong plague. Records pa na 1,000 to 3,000 cases ang nagkakaroon ng, ng ganito every year. Um, however, thanks to science and technology, um, pag na-diagnose ka nito, pwedeng pwede ka nang gumaling ka agad gamit ang antibiotics. So, imagine the importance of science and technology. The sailors were initially held on their ships for 30 days at Trentino, a period that was later increased to 40 days so, or a quarantine, the origin of the term quarantine. And the practice is still used today.